Today we're really excited to bring you a house that we've done just uh, over the last couple of years and just recently did a little bit more. One of the biggest challenges that we had in this house was the small living room. The challenge is, is that there was a lot of different angles in the room and now not being very large, it was very difficult to figure out or what to do to, as far as getting a rug laid. We knew the coloring that they wanted to do and so we were, had kind of pulled some things together. We did a smaller sofa and, and then some fun pattern and stuff with color, but the rug became a major challenge. We tried different things and tried laying it at different areas. Finally, the solution was is that we've got a rug and actually cut it out so that now it looks as if the hearth of the fireplace is sitting on top of the rug. The dining room in this house, I think, was really an interesting space because of the brick walls that they had in here. It just made kind of a very interesting, very kind of warm and cozy atmosphere. Because of the neutrality and the warmer tones in it, it was fun to put the big, large abstract on the wall that pulled in a really strong color and gave them a really nice dining room. That then with the neutral chairs and then the ECAP back post and hostess chair makes it for a really nice area to entertain. Uh, in the main parts of the house, we were kind of going with the blue and the green theme. And so in the study, uh, it came together really well with the fun pattern in the carpet and then just some beautiful pieces to go in with the blue. So the interesting and the fun thing was is in the living spaces of the house, like in the family room and in the uh, game room upstairs, we kind of took a lot of the colors throughout and kind of just accent with splashes of that all over. So the family room area is a lot of fun with the reds and orange reds and the, and the strong teals and turquoises. But then when you go upstairs into the game room, we kind of took every color. So you've got charcoal and camel colored and reds and oranges and, and it came together really fun and yet kind of in a neutral palette so it didn't become too much. The master bedroom, we took just a little bit of a departure from the rest of the house, utilizing just the soft aqua blue kind of color, but this time we paired it with a soft terracotta color. It all came off very, very soft, very tranquil and peaceful. We had enough space, we did a beautiful sofa in here, so they've got a really nice sitting area, as well as just a very nice place to rest. We want to show you one of the other bedrooms that we did in the house just particularly because it turned out so cute. They had a, a piece of artwork that an aunt had done for the kids and so we had that framed and actually kind of used that as a color base for the entire room. It turned out really fun, very animated room, but very uh, comfortable for the kids. This house particularly holds a fondness for me as far as working on because the parents of this household were children of another that I did years ago when, uh, when they were just small. So it's kind of fun to watch family grow and work on both houses and, and help these uh, great people out. I hope that you enjoyed. I'm Gary Riggs with Gary Riggs Home.